Kodak Black is one of the hottest rappers to come out of Florida. Ever since getting released from prison after being pardoned by Donald Trump in early 2021, Kodak has been on fire. Exclusive video from Local 10 shows Kodak Black leaving the main jail in Broward County Saturday morning after he spent seven months behind bars. Feeding the streets with music and enjoying his freedom. But while Yak has been soaking up the spotlight, his homie Jack Boy, who signed to his Sniper Gang label, has been watching from the sidelines. The two rappers have recently been throwing shade at each other on social media over how Kodak is handling his position as CEO of the Sniper Gang label. Let's dive into the beef and take a look at the argument on both sides. Kodak and Jack Boy aren't just rap friends. They grew up together in Pompano Beach, and Jack Boy was one of the first artists Kodak signed to his label after he blew up. But just because you're day one homies, doesn't mean it can't get sour once money and fame become involved. On June 29th, Kodak went on a tweet storm that had fans assuming that he had a problem with the artist on his label, Jack Boy in particular. He tweeted, Fuck a friend, I'm on business. I ain't signing rappers no more. These n****s ungrateful. Ain't nobody keeping nothing. I need mine. What's the problem? He continued going off on IG, posting on a story saying, Ayo, I ain't trying to internet bang with nobody. I started this so I need my money for letting n****s eat off my face. That's it. Other than that, I love everybody. He also posted, just made an M off Lil Jack. Thanks, Lil Bruh. And took long enough, but that business must be stood on. Kodak and Jack Boy had already been going back and forth sending shots at each other on Instagram and arguing over the direction of the Sniper Gang label. Kodak started it off by doing an IG Live where he spoke on the situation while smoking the black and mild. He starts off by saying that Jack Boy is like his brother, but that doesn't mean there can't be smoke. Anyway, Jit, my little brother, man. He said that Jack Boy wasn't happy with the label, even though Kodak put him on and gave him a platform. Kodak felt that Jack Boy was being disloyal because he was jealous of his shine and wasn't willing to put in the work to build his own name. He also did another IG Live video where he broke the beef down using a SpongeBob metaphor. He said, it's like they're on a boat and he's the driver. Jack Boy is just hating on him for being the driver and wants to get behind the wheel, but doesn't have his boating license and has never even met Miss Puff. According to Yak, since he's the only one who's met Miss Puff, he's the only one who can take them safely to Bikini Bottom. When they finally get to Bikini Bottom, he's gonna make sure that everyone gets a Krabby Patty so they can all eat. But while he's trying to get everyone to the Krusty Krab, Jack Boy is trying to throw him off the boat just because he's the driver. He's clearly trying to be funny. It's confusing as hell, but does explain his side of the story. And they'll be on some stuff like, man, look at this driving in the boat. <laughs> look at this driving the boat, does it? And. They ain't got their bone laces, you know what I'm saying? They ain't never even met Miss Puff before. I'm the only one who met Miss Puff. Kodak feels like without him, Sniper Gang has no name in the industry, so he's the only one who can steer the label in the right direction. But while he's trying to make the moves, his artists are plotting on his downfall just because they're jealous that he's the star. They try to throw me. Throw me off the boat. You know what I'm saying? I don't know off some envious shit. Just, just jealous and just won't, I don't know. I don't know what he fuck he's thinking. I'm saying. After that, Jack Boy followed up with a video of his own to explain how he's feeling and give his thoughts on the boat analogy. At the top of the video, he wrote the caption, "I hate y'all lame drivers." He said that he's not trying to take over, but it's like Kodak's been driving for eight or nine hours and he's clearly getting tired, but won't let anyone else get behind the wheel. He doesn't have a problem with Yak taking the lead, he just thinks that he needs to let them help him drive so that they don't crash. He posted another caption that said, let somebody else get the wheel until you shake back. Sheesh, it don't matter who drive as long as we get into the destination. He also said that Kodak would rather crash than let someone else get a turn behind the wheel. You'll rather crash than somebody else drive, ain't it? He also followed up with a slide on his IG story that said, nobody trying to take your job, playboy. If anything, trying to help you save your job. Stop being in slick competition with the people God sent to help you. It does start to make more sense once you hear Jack Boy's side of the story. It doesn't seem like he's jealous of Kodak's success or that he's not grateful for the platform he's been given, but he also has his own career to think about and doesn't feel like he's getting the shine that he's earned. Jack Boy was holding it down for the sniper gang while Kodak was recently locked up and kept bigging up his homie while he was behind bars. He probably thought that once he came home, Yak would show the same love and let Jack Boy gain some of the spotlight. But since he's been home, it seems like Kodak's been focused on Kodak and hasn't put too much energy into promoting his artists. Originally, fans thought that the reason Kodak and Jack Boy hadn't linked up since he was released from prison was because Kodak was on probation. Jack Boy is not only a convicted felon himself, but was recently arrested earlier this year after a traffic stop in Georgia where police uncovered a gun. Jack Boy was driving a blue Lambo and a cop noticed that he was swerving all over his lane. 
When they pulled him over, they smelled weed and searched the car, uncovering a 9mm Glock. Due to his status as a felon, the rapper isn't allowed to have a gun and ended up getting booked and spending the night in jail before posting a $2,500 bond. In addition to that charge, Jackboy was also arrested for aggravated battery and robbery with a firearm back in 2017, plus tampering with evidence and possession of weed in 2019. This most recent arrest came just after Kodak got out of prison, so it makes sense why he probably wouldn't want to be around his old friends if he was still on paperwork. But now it seems like there's some drama behind the scenes that the public didn't know about. Yak probably feels like he lost his position in the rap game after being locked up during an important part of his career. But that doesn't mean he should be ignoring the people who held it down while he was away. After that, Kodak went off on Twitter and officially aired out their problems to the world. Jackboy responded to Kodak's rant by posting a video to his live with the song Vouch by Kevin Gates playing in the background. He highlights the lyrics, Put the folks in my business, gotta set court appointments, gotta suit up with lawyers, damn this how we rockin'? So Jackboy clearly wasn't amused by Kodak's social media rant and let him know that they can get lawyers involved if that's how he feels. Jackboy later did another IG live session where he claimed that he wasn't gonna diss Kodak because that's his brother at the end of the day. No, no, that's my brother at the end of the day. That isn't gonna stop him from trying to talk some common sense into him. He also revealed that Kodak blocked him on Instagram, but he's too real for the internet beef. Kodak wasn't feeling the same way and went on live to diss his former friend. He said that he's the boss, the rapper, and the shooter, so he doesn't need Jackboy if he's gonna be ungrateful and disloyal. He also said that Jackboy is never in Broward and he was never really about that life to begin with. He continued to say that if he didn't want Jackboy to be successful, then he would have left him back in the hood and that he took back the rapper Sniper Chain Gang over the beat. So Jackboy took the high road and said that he wasn't gonna diss his brother, he just had to let his side of the story be known. Kodak wasn't quite as chill and decided to air out his homie instead and end their relationship. After that, Kodak took the disrespect to a whole new level. He posted a video of himself throwing what is reported to be around $100,000 into the ocean and flushing money down the toilet. He included the caption, I broke you off when them f wouldn't give you a dime. I ain't owe you I just wanted to see you shine. He ain't never gave me I had my own grind. He followed up that post with a photo of himself posing behind $230,000 cash with the caption, I was too busy showing love, I ain't see the signs. When you needed me, I came through every time. Whether you was right or wrong, I was riding. But you envy me, in the back of your mind. It does seem strange that Kodak would destroy his own hard-earned money to get back at his former friend. But he's clearly trying to show the artist and the world that he's so rich, he could throw 100 racks into the ocean and still be straight. As more details would come out about their issues with each other, the stunt would start to make more sense. According to a few blogs who researched this beef, the issue started after Jackboy had a meeting with Empire Records, the label behind Sniper Gang. They revealed to the artist that Kodak charged him $30,000 every time he did a verse on one of Jackboy's songs. They also revealed that Jackboy was supposed to get a $500,000 advance, but Kodak kept it for himself. This information is unverified, but it does explain a lot. The fact that Jackboy had to pay thirty dollars for a verse from his homeboy, and he got stiff for $500k, which he could have used to record new music or promote himself, is more than enough to question Kodak's intentions, especially when he's taking all the shine for himself. It also explains why Kodak would throw all that money in the ocean, to try and prove to Jackboy that he has plenty of his own cash and doesn't need money from his artist's pockets. Fans began to weigh in on all the drama on Twitter, with some siding with Yak and others rocking with Jackboy. On one hand, Kodak is the star, and the only reason that anyone has even heard Jackboy's name in the first place. But the others were disappointed that Yak would diss his day one homie after he held down the Sniper Gang camp while Kodak was behind bars and wouldn't let anyone disrespect his name. Others thought it was all just a publicity stunt to drive up album sales, and they'd probably be back on speaking terms in no time. If the rumors about Kodak still in the advance and charging his friends for features are true, then Jackboy is not wrong for speaking up. Even if they are close friends, Jackboy has the right to know how his finances are being handled, and if Kodak is taking his money and charging him hidden fees, that's a major red flag. Even though Kodak is a successful artist, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to be a successful CEO the same way that rappers like Jay-Z and Master P transitioned from making music into being label executive. Sniper Gang is more like a collective of Kodak's close friends and family who also make music, and maybe Kodak doesn't have the business skills yet to effectively run a serious label. He's only 24 years old and still fighting to secure his own spot in the music industry, so right now might not be the time to focus on other artists. Although he's a well-respected and popular rapper, he keeps losing momentum every time he goes to jail and has always had to fight to be recognized for his talent in the industry. If Kodak is serious about running the label and not just doing it because it's the cool thing to do, he needs to learn how to step out of the spotlight and let some of his artists have the chance to shine. That doesn't mean he has to sacrifice his own career, but if he wants to build his sniper gang as a label into something bigger than his own brand, he needs to learn how to spread the attention and wealth. 
or at least be more clear with his artists about how he's managing their money and careers. It doesn't seem like the beef is as serious as the internet is making it out to be. Kodak is likely just being dramatic and trying to use the beef to get more views, especially when he pulls stunts like throwing thousands of dollars into the ocean. If Jack Boy does decide to lawyer up and look for a new label, that may make things between him and Kodak serious. But in an industry as competitive as rap, you have to look out for yourself and if the situation you're in isn't working, it may be time to look for a better deal. Hopefully, Jack Boy and Kodak can settle their beef without any more disses or any harm, but it doesn't seem like fans will be hearing any collabs between the two artists anytime soon.